Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 48 of my Manchester City career. Now, in today's episode, of course, we all know that in the last episode, um, we didn't manage to pick as many points as we'd hoped to. The performance dropped slightly, and we are in a position at the moment where we are not performing as we want to perform. So we need to try and change that. Today's episode is a very, very big episode. We've got a Manchester derby. We've got a game against Arsenal in the FL Cup round of 16, and then a game against West Brom. Some very big matches. Um, but we do have some potentially other games as well after that to play. Maybe even get to the final match. It depends how we get on in today's episode. But yeah, we need to try and um, spark some sort of reaction from this team. Uh, I mentioned in, in the last episode we didn't get the points we wanted to. We lost to Chelsea 4-1. Still can't believe that. We drew also to Sevilla as well in the Champions League. That was another result I was disappointed by. And now we've got a game against West Brom. Probably not the sort of team that you want to be playing to try and redeem yourself. They always make things very tricky for you. And so we are going to risk it and play three at the back for this game. Uh, we're going to see how that goes for the game against West Brom. I've planned it out. I've decided on the team based on what side I'm expecting West Brom to put out. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with things. Before we do, though, if we could try and 100 likes, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or maybe just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button well down below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Aiming for 15,000 subscribers now as the next target. Obviously, you guys can help make that happen, so thank you all so much to everyone that does subscribe. Let's crack on with today's episode, though. This is the I'm going to go with. Like I say, it's a 3-5-2 formation. Edison starts in goal. Humphreys Grant, company and Mangalo in defence. We've got Suarez, Sol, Rose, Sterling and Selina in midfield. Sergio Aguero and Gabriel Azuz start up front and this is the bench we've gone with. Ferreira, Delft, Roberts, Diaz, Moreno, Ferreira and Sanchez all starting. A few players missing out. We played about three days ago against Sevilla so there's quite a lot of tired players. Hence the changes. Let's see how we get on. Tough game against West Brom here. Not the sort of match that you want. Very physical team and I tried to set up my side fairly physical as well but We'll wait and see. Hopefully the team that they put out is the side that I'm expecting. Come on then. Let's get ourselves a win here at the Hawthorns. Currently two points behind Arsenal, uh, who are on 20 points. We're on 18 points at the moment. Um, if we win this game and Arsenal were to, for example, lose their match, then of course we go in front of them. But we've got to focus on ourselves here. Got to focus on ourselves getting a win as well. That's the most important thing. Obviously we want a good performance. We want to play some good football. And uh, hopefully this three at the back formation will allow us to do that. Like I say, I've planned out the formation based on the side that um, I expect uh, West Brom to have played in today's game. Hopefully um, what I expect has actually happened. Here we go. Ball through to Sergio Aguero. Great chance for Aguero. Oh, gets brought down. Is that going to be a penalty? It is. Six minutes into the match. Johnny Evans fouls Sergio Aguero. Uh, it's going to be a penalty and no card as well by the looks of it. And uh, let's have a look at the replay. See exactly what happened here. Aguero trying to touch round him. He does go on and stand on his feet. I suppose it probably just is. It's a 50-50 sort of penalty decision for me. Uh, difficult really to tell whether it was or not. But Sergio Aguero going to step up and score. That's the goal that we needed early on. It's 1-0, six minutes into this game. Happy to give us a, uh, give us a lead here so early on. Takes the pressure off a little bit. And now going to make sure that we prevent any sort of West Brom response. Go on, yes, up to Raheem Sterling. Fantastic play here. Sterling coming inside, looking for a pass here. Gabriel Azus, oh, just ran into the man. Very good play, though, starting to really control this match and uh, pinging the ball around, and West Brom can't really get close to us at the moment. Okay, half-time. We're winning the game 1-0 at the moment. Very, very good performance so far. Um, we're much more confident on the ball, passing it much better. Um, chance creation, not so good at the moment still, but um, West Brom are really resilient. They're preventing us uh, from getting in behind them. They're doing a really good job defensively, as we expected, and uh, we just need to try and pick up the pace of our passing a little bit, and uh, I think if we do that, then we are onto something really, really good here. Just got to try and make sure that we don't get hit on the counter-attack. That's the only issue. Uh, of course, when we're throwing so many players forward that they might well hit us on the break. Aguero going to try and turn and shoot here. Gets blocked. There's been a lot of that from the West Brom defence. We're going to try and deliver it into the middle. Let's see how we get on up against the West Brom defenders. Oh, we've won it. It had to be saved. Out for another corner. We do surprisingly well from corners. We don't even have that many tall players. But Mangala's there. And he scores it this time. We have this time managed to win the header and get it in the back of the net. Mangala with the goal. That's the second one that we needed. And it's come from an unlikely source, really. You'd expect West Brom to be able to defend the corner much better with all our physical players. We've won the header. And it's into the back of the net. Couldn't be saved by Foster. And we have managed to get ourselves a second goal to give us a nice, comfortable lead at the moment. Now we've just got to go out there and add to it. Hopefully West Brom start to throw more players forward. Okay, so all three changes. About 20 minutes left of this game. Moreno, Roberts and Delph all to go. And we'll take off Sol, Suarez and also Sergio Aguero as well. Moreno will go play up front for a little bit and I'm bringing on Patrick Roberts to the centre attack in mid. So that means Celina will drop back a little bit and uh, we'll go with that. We'll see how that goes for the final 20 minutes. I'm still aiming to push on it and try and get a third, maybe even a fourth goal. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how those changes manage to uh, adapt to the formation that we're playing. 
Rose cuts it back here to Patrick Roberts. Over the top here, Gabriel Azus. Oh, it's 3-0. That's more like it. There we go. That's the third goal that we needed. Much better from us now. Gabriel Azus gets us the third goal. 13 minutes to go. Still looking for a fourth, but this is brilliant play. Danny Rose just comes inside. It was supposed to find Gabriel Azus, actually, but it went to Patrick Roberts. Chipped over the top. First time on his left foot into the back of net. Brilliant, brilliant play. Fantastic stuff. And that means the game is now well and truly over. Got ourselves three points and uh, hopefully can get ourselves maybe a more goal. Danny Rose into the middle here for Moreno. Oh, he connects with it. Gets saved by Foster. Good play yet again. Found a good bit of space in the middle. Uh, just sadly couldn't quite get a good enough connection on it. That's it. 3-0 win. Really, really happy with that. Three points as well. I know it's only against West Brom, but it's a fantastic performance with a changed team. This isn't our starting lineup. Uh, obviously, the formation really worked. And it worked, I think, for one reason mainly. I think uh, the aim was always to try and isolate West Brom's main striker in Lecco. And they were only playing one up front. When you have one up front, you have three defenders just to cope with him it's always going to be very difficult for the opposition to attack so it works for that reason I'm not so sure it would work against two or three attackers in fact I'm almost certain it wouldn't so we'll go to a four at the back for those sort of games but definitely I think works for a, for a one striker situation there so happy with that gets us three points Arsenal uh, I think lost actually to Villa so we do go in front of them just as I mentioned at the start of the game that it was a possibility it's actually happened we are now top by a point we should be on 21 points now and a game against Arsenal up next as well in three days time first of all though let's go on some player drills exactly the same as what I changed to last episode the main focus of course on that right winger uh, Ribeiro who now goes up to 69 overall as well which is great to see Manuel goes up to 61 he's looking like a good player as well Manuel I'm looking forward to using more of him uh, six foot two player left footed centre mid looks pretty good he's a sort of player we don't really have to be honest uh, in that midfield right now and with a bit more training and another season maybe he could be potentially a really good talent for us and uh, we're just going to continue to try and train him up over the next few weeks and uh, hopefully have some really good stats on him Okay, so on to this next game against Arsenal, I'm expecting to play the exact same formation as the game against West Brom. So we're going to go with the exact same formation, a little bit risky against a, arguably obviously a better opposition. Um, we have gone with this sort of team, it's changed again because obviously we've got a bit of mixture of good and, and rotational players, shall we say, for this game. Counter starts in goal, Stones, Tara Mangala as our three at the back, De Bruyne and Delph are just in front of them. Carl Walker and Sané out wide with Silva in behind Moreno and Sanchez playing up front. And this bench that I've gone with, not as strong as sometimes, I mean we do have... Uh, uh, a couple of players on that look pretty decent. Of course, Ferreira, Gundogan and Sergio Guerra can all do a good job for us with a couple of other youngsters on there as well. A few bigger names missing out, though. They need to be rested before the next game they have coming up. It's around 16. It's the EFL Cup. Let's wait and see how we get on. Got to try and get ourselves into the next round if possible. Well, then, here we are at the Etihad Stadium for this game against Arsenal in the EFL Cup. Let's wait and see how he gets on. Obviously a big risk potentially going through at the back for this game, but I feel like it's the best option. We'll wait and see exactly what happens. Danny Welbeck out on that left-hand side. A little bit of a surprise for me. Didn't expect such uh, physicality there, but uh, hopefully be able to deal with it with Cal Walker. Oh no, a Bamiang up front as well. Wow, that will be interesting. Whoa, whoa, what a challenge. What a challenge. Go on, Sanchez. Look for a cross in. Moreno! Oh, so close. Thought it was going to land perfectly on his head. It didn't quite... Uh, we do have ourselves a throw in there. What a ball in that was. Great opportunity. Thought we had something there. So close. Kevin De Bruyne is still going to try and keep the attack alive though. Bernardo Silva gets uh, closed down. Nearly got a shot away. No, we can't allow this. Can't allow that. That was too easy. Bamiang just runs through. We couldn't handle his pace and we're losing the game 1-0 here. 12 minutes into this match. It's a different sort of beast when you've got uh, Bamiang up front as opposed to Lecco. Look at that pace, no getting to it. Carter has to come out, don't really have any other option to try and uh, sort of narrow down the angle. And we're losing the game 12 minutes in. Can't get too down about it though, we started off quite brightly. Um, just obviously can't let Bamiang have that sort of uh, opportunity to just turn his man and uh, go through on goal. That's not good. Quick switch, Mangala's going to go more centrally just because he's got a bit more pace than Tar down there. Up against Bamiang. Go on, into Delph. That's a great run, Fabian Delph. Oh, it's gone in. Fabian Delph with the run, and it's one all. 23 minutes into this game, we've got the equaliser, and that is what we needed. We've managed to get back on level turns, and it's fully deserved as well. You know, we've played some fantastic football there. Uh, brilliant bit of play. Patient build-up as well. Look at this from Sanchez. Look at that. Reverse pass. Takes it in his stride. Delph gets it through his legs. A little bit of luck, but you need that sometimes. We've equalised, and uh, Fabian Delph, a uh, surprise introduction maybe into the start of 11 here, has managed to get himself on the score sheet. That's more like it. Strong on Aubameyang. That's exactly what we needed. Sanchez looking for a cross in there. Moreno. So close. Oh, what a challenge. No, he gets the ball. 
What a challenge. That was a meaty one, was that? Okay, half time. Join the game one all. I'm actually very, very happy with how we're playing. We're attacking most of the time pretty well. I'm very happy with that. Uh, controlling Arsenal quite well, it's clear that I think with a different sort of formation, this team would be very, very deadly uh, in front of goal and creating chances. I think the three at the back's definitely working at the moment. Uh, I think Sanchez is, is struggling though. He's struggling as a striker. Uh, I might swap him and Moreno round up front. Uh, see whether that makes any difference whatsoever, but Sanchez is not making the right runs, and that's the only criticism I can really have of the team so far. So, other than that, we're playing pretty well. We just need to get the ball at the high of the pitch, maybe. Right, let's solve it into Moreno. Now looking to Sanchez. Oh, much better already. Up to Carl Walker. Great pass. Now needs some support in the middle. Oh, it's hit it too far for Sanchez. Now Sanchez. Oh, hits it so well on the volley. On his left foot. Good save by Chesney. Out for a corner. De Bruyne to try and deliver in there. Taz in there. Flicks it on. Carl Walker. Oh, we've scored. It's Carl Walker, I think, or John Stones. It's one of the two. I can't quite tell. We'll see once he gets out of the mess. Judging by the way that he's walking away, it looks, or running away I should say, could well be Kyle Walker, but let's wait and see. It's 2-1 anyway, that's the most important thing, and we have scored with about 30 minutes left of this game. Still no idea who heads it. Just falls through nicely, I think it's Kyle Walker it is, and he runs away and celebrates. Nice little header, jumps in front of his man. Very, very pleased with that. We haven't had too many chances in the second half, but we've really fought for it. We've passed the ball really, really well, and we've looked uh, a good threat once we've got forward. Even though it hasn't been too often, we have just uh, passed the ball around fantastically around Arsenal. I was just considering some changes as well, and I think we will still make some in a second, because no doubt Arsenal have some sort of response to this. Man, Gala got to be strong with Oxide chamberlain Can't let him do that. Spinning him around too easily there. Chance for Arsenal. It's an instant response. Oh, it's... Days. An instant response. I wasn't even controlling Stones. <sighs> Is this three episodes in a row? Three games in a row this has happened? I mean, I wasn't even controlling him. That is ridiculous. And we're back to, well, square one in a second. Darren Ramsey comes on, Eleni coming off. A bang to step up here, up against Carter. I cannot believe this. Just sky it, please. Come on. Sky it. Yeah, it sends us the wrong way. Right, let's make some changes. You, you know what I think of that. Okay, final three changes. We're going to bring off Ferreira, Gundogan and Mendy. We'll take off Mangala, Moreno and De Bruyne. Mendy's going to go and play at centre-back. Uh, I think he's got the right sort of stats for it uh, to find that sort of position up against Aubameyang. We'll see how that goes. Stones are now plays at the central centre-back. Um, we've got Gundogan playing alongside Delph, who hopefully just has enough pace to continue. Uh, we'll see how that goes. For, like I say, uh, Ferreira is going to play up front now. And we'll see how that goes. He's got great finishing. It's just whether he's got uh, the other attributes to, to be a good striker for us up there. We'll wait and see. It's very much uh, a roll of the dice with these three changes. There's no guarantees with any of them. Um, but I'm interested... Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? It's a terrible touch. Anyway, I'm interested to see how they get on in the final 20 minutes of this game. But uh, it touches like that from Carl Walker. I'm not expecting much. Gundogan getting forward. Looking for that switch. Oh, it's found Ferreira! Oh, it's wide. So close. Player down. We'll capitalise on that. He's playing them all on side. Sanchez, come on. Falls to Ferreira. No. Don't say we're going to have to stop playing a second as well. Are they seriously passing around the back? Because Ferreira has just won it back here into Sanchez. The back heel wasn't right. And it's an absolute mess in the Arsenal defence. That's what they get for trying to pass it around the back. And eventually has to be hoofed towards Hector Bayer into clear. Well played, Mendy. Bernardo Silva. Go on, through to Ferreira. Falls to Bernardo Silva. Gundogan to shoot. Ah, oh, blocked. Well played, Ferreira. That's great. Now into Bernardo Silva. That's also great. Right, a silver still going. Oh, just gets nudged off the ball by like Jack Wilshire of all people. Christ, is he even fit to play this game? Go on. Oh, I love that. That is a brilliant switch. That is enough for a goal, surely. Ferreira. No, no, not when you run into our players. It's not. That's it. Two all draw. Really fought for that one. We've played some great football at times. Uh, two all draw. It's. I don't know whether it's fair to be honest. I mean, probably not. Um, but a lot of the results recently, I don't think have been fair. And our performance has been great as well. But this is a better performance. Uh, the result, I don't think, fully reflects the, the game. Though I think we should maybe have just edge this one. But we're going into extra time. We'll wait and see how we get on. Obviously, a lot of tired players in this side. They're really working and uh, fighting really hard uh, to try and win against this Arsenal team. Yes, yeah, Delph. That's more like it. He's been good in this game as Fabian Delph. Broken up play really well. Ferreira, despite the poor touch, finds Sanchez, who just gets blocked off. Don't have enough strength in this team. It's been a big issue going forward, definitely. 
Look at that. It's like a man versus a boy there. Half time, still too old. Okay, we're going to stick Cal Walker up front. He's got the most pace, really, out, out of everyone in the team. But Sainz will go on the right hand side. We'll see how that goes. Um, in fact, maybe Ferreira going on that side would make more sense. Sanchez going up front again. We'll see how that goes. It's like 11 minutes left. So hopefully that does something. No, oh, ho, ho, I thought I got in. 120th minutes. I thought that was it. <sighs> Could this be penalties then? Unless there's a final chance here. Cal Walker flicks it on. Ferreira desperately needing some support here. He's going to try and pick out Sanchez. On the overlap here, Leroy Sané. What have you got for us, Leroy? Go on. Oh, saved by Chesney. Out for a corner. I thought that was it. Come on, Silver. Give us a good ball in, please. Silver, no, can't do it. And that's it. Two all draw. Into penalties we go here. Not what we wanted to do, of course, but we have to deal with it. Maybe that's a, a fair result, but um, yeah, it's a tough one to take. So close to obviously winning the game 2-1 uh, in normal time. We'll change around a couple of penalty takers here and uh, see whether we can get ourselves into the next round. Got to try and do much better than the last penalty shootout that we were in. Okay, Fabian Delph up first. Smash it in the back of the net. Come on. Oh, it's just about in there. Whew. Worried for a slight second there, not going to lie. Abamyang. Their best penalty taker going to step up first. He's already scored one penalty pass Carter. Is he going to do exactly the same again? Yes, he is. He's gone right down the middle, or slightly to the left, in fact. Ferreira here going to step up. Come on. That's more like it. Top corner. That'll do. Pass Chesney. It's 2-1. Aaron Ramsey now to step up. Carter needs to try and save one. Doesn't look particularly confident in goal. Carter up against Ramsey. Saved. That's what we needed. He saves and that gives us an opportunity to take the lead even further here through Bernardo Silva who scores as well. That's what we wanted. 3-1 up. If we could save this then that would be really, really helpful. But uh, Danny Welbeck with a chance to make it 3-2 here. Which way is he going to go? We're going to go right and oh, it's saved by the legs of Carter. That'll do. It's a 3-1 win at the moment, but Sanchez still to step up against his former club. Can he score a win? He has done. We've won it. We've won the penalty shootout. We're only into the next round. It's only the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup, but it was important to do that and beat Arsenal. It's Sanchez, the former Arsenal player that knocks them out. And that means that we have gone through all four penalties scored this time around. Much, much better than the last penalty shootout. And that means that we're into the quarters. And uh, we have progressed through in the Cup. Definitely deserved. We've really fought hard in this game. A lot of work has gone into trying to win this match. It's happened on penalty shootout, but I think it's fully deserved. So happy with that. So happy with that. I think tactically we got it right again uh, with the three at the back. I don't think that's going to be appropriate for all matches. But like I said before, one striker I think we can go through the back for. Um, it's when you start to have two and three strikers that it's going to be more difficult. Now we've got the Manchester derby. We're top of the league. We're into the next round. We're actually top of the Champions League group. So even in the last couple of episodes, I've been seeing it as a bit of a disaster. Look how it's turned out now. We're actually doing pretty well. Um, it was more the performances that I wasn't so happy with. Now I'm pretty happy. The performances were really, really working for every game. And uh, the Manchester derby now is going to be the ultimate test for us. Dan Lowe's asked for a transfer request, which I think is quite interesting, just before the Manchester derby. Not great timing. Um, something we'll think about. I think I want to keep Dan Lowe ideally. Uh, but to be totally honest with you, in-game it's not been good enough. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be massively against getting rid of him. If we can get in a better fullback that's a bit faster than him, then, you know, so be it. But, um, yeah, like I say, not being quite as good as I'd hoped in game. I'm um, just checking the uh, Man United attack because they're playing with one striker again. But look at all these strikers. Muller, Rashford, Vardy, Griezmann, Lukaku, Ibrahimovic. Who's going to start? I mean, Rashford's played the most games. That would make more sense. But could be Ibrahimovic, could be Lukaku, Griezmann, could be any of them, really. Uh, but yeah, they're playing with one striker again, so I think we're going to go through the back again. Okay, so here we go for this game against Manchester United. It's obviously the Manchester derby. This is the side I'm going to go with. The same formation. Edison starts in goal. Stones, Company, Mangala at the back. Sol and Suarez in midfield. Sterling and Rose out wide. De Bruyne in behind. Sergio Aguero and Gabriel Azuzu starts up front. A very strong team, of course. This is the that I've gone with. Ferreira, Mendy, Roberts, Diaz, uh, Gunduan, Leroy Sané and Moreno. No out-and-out -out striker, uh, but of course a few options there that could potentially go there if we want to. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm expecting a good performance here we've been off the back of a couple of decent performances as well um, of course what we'll do as we've done in the last couple of games is adapt the tactics the formation uh, the positioning of the players if we need to during the game depending on you know what lineup they go with so we'll see how this goes um, obviously we want to try and beat Man United it's a very big game this one up against Fellaini wow okay that'll be a different sort of option for them and a different sort of task for us as well come on at home for this Manchester derby let's see how he gets on is that Griezmann up front
Griezmann, I can see it looks like it. It seems like they've gone with Griezmann there. They've got Paul Pogba in the team. It looks like they've got Wayne Rooney, Fellaini. So some interesting players starting here. Um, I'm expecting, obviously, uh, a very tough game. I'm, I, even though we're going to three at the back against a little bit risky as ever. Um, but I'm hoping that we've got, that we've planned it out right. And uh, Griezmann dropping off a little bit here to pick up the ball. Company deals with that well, though. Quick start from United. Really high press already. One quick switch. De Bruyne is going to sit back a little bit. Suarez is going to be allowed to push on. Suarez not so good defensively, uh, in game at least, anyway. So we're going to put De Bruyne in that position. I prefer him there. Counter. Gabriel Jesus. Go on, Danny Rose. Give us something here. He needs someone else in the middle, though, to help him. Danny Rose goes for the ball into Aguero. Cleared. Just before half time here. Not had that many chances. We'll revert to, I think, a four at the back at half time. Um, just because the three at the back. We're coping, but uh, coping's not quite good enough. I want to be winning at the back, and I'm not quite winning up against the Man United attack here. They've got a lot of wingers that are pushing really high up the pitch, which is not what we had before. So it's almost becoming a three up front as opposed to just the one. So we'll change that half time. Uh, hopefully that'll affect uh, the attack, our attack a little bit more as well. Let's make the changes. Half time, nil nil. So yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll bring on Mendy at half time, take off Mangala, and we'll go to a four three three holding formation. Sol will go in there alongside Suarez and De Bruyne as before. Gabriel Jesus out on the left now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Just one change at half time, but Mendy playing at right back is uh, the main thing for you to see there. So we're going to go with that. Obviously, don't have a right back on the bench, so uh, Mendy will do a good job, hopefully, there anyway, being impressed with him at times uh, when he's played at left back. Corner here, De Bruyne going to try and deliver into the front post, or falls to Sol to shoot and save by Romero. Uh, good chance for us there in the opening five minutes. We've got to control this game now, that's good. We've been much better in the second half, very much in control of it, that's what I want to see. Sergio Aguero now to turn and shoot off the bar. This is good, this is really good play, the formation has worked. Now we just need to try and find the goal that we need. Oh, they've changed things up. Lukaku's come on. That's a whole different sort of option for them now going forward. Nearly got Pogba in behind. Okay, this could be interesting. Might have to look to the bench here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put Mendy at centre-back now. We're going to move Kumpli over to right-back. Uh, Mendy's actually got some better stats, I think, for that position uh, now that Lukaku's come on. It was tempting to bring on someone like Ferreira. Uh, at centre back and see how that goes, but I think it's a little bit risky to be honest. Marking is very, very good to be fair to him, um, so it's tempting. But I, I don't know. I just don't th feel like it's the right thing to do right now. Something I will do is bring on Leroy Sané. We're going to take off Gabriel Jesus, give that a go for the final 20 minutes. Uh, Mendy, like I said, will go play at centre back now. We'll see how that goes. It's obviously a big switch to do power through a game and up against Lukaku, but I think they've got it in him, so uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I trust Mendy to play that position. Yeah, Sol's going to come off. Ferreira will come on, just sit in front, hopefully try and man-mark Lukaku. Uh, he has got the man-mark uh, instruction on, so we'll see how that goes uh, for the final 15 minutes, just a precaution and freshen up the legs, basically. Oh, well played. Mendy up against Lukaku. That's why you're in there. Fantastic stuff. Ferreira's also picked up Pogba now as well, so we're really sort of tactically lining up players here which is good to see, finally, players getting in the right positions. No, good chance. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That has not worked. Wow. I don't know whether I can fault my players too much there, but that's fantastic passing from Manu. Lukaku scored, goes and hooks Jose Mourinho. Wow, that switch really did us there. Company up against Anthony Martial was definitely not something that should have happened. Stones couldn't beat him, and we couldn't stop Lukaku from getting the end of that. A little bit disappointed with that, to say the least, because, um, yeah, we've performed pretty well. Obviously, company at right back wasn't ideal, but we have no other right back, so frustrating. Frustrating, because we have actually tactically been spot on, other than that split second. Suarez, give us something. Oh, what a save. Sterling to follow up. Oh, nothing but save. Ferreira's in there and gets punched away. Oh, come on. I'd take a draw, to be fair. I would take a draw here. Come on, De Bruyne. A good delivery. Company's in there. Redeem yourself. No, that'll be it, I think, for this game. It's, just, it's obviously sad to uh, to lose the Manchester derby, but I'll tell you what, that's one of the better performances that we've put in. I'm going to keep on saying it. Tactically, we're brilliant there. Other than company at right back, which obviously didn't work. Eight shots, seven on target. They had four, four on target. They won the game. It's one of those sort of things that happens. Uh, I'm not going to really think about it too much because, yeah, it was just one of those sort of things. We should have had a right back really on the bench. We, may, we maybe should have had Dallow on there um, and then that wouldn't have been an issue. But 
There we go, you learn, and uh, of course that's three drop points for us, which is a bit gutting. Not just the fact that it was a Manchester derby, but, you know, for me, three drop points is the more important thing here. Um, so good to have lost that Manchester derby. I think that's the first one I've ever lost, I'm pretty sure, in this career. I, mean, I can't remember losing one before. Uh, but that means that we are still top of the league, um, surprisingly, actually. That means Arsenal must have lost, yeah. Seems like they must have lost their first league game of the season, because... Oh, well, maybe they drew, in fact. Um, but yeah, we are still top of the league on goal difference, which is obviously good to see, and uh, we will remain there uh, for the rest of today's episode. That is everything for today's episode. Gutted, obviously, uh, about the Manchester Derby loss, but more about the fact that we did do so well. Um, didn't attack maybe enough, um, but I think defensively we, we lined up the players perfectly. Man marked where we needed to, but just didn't get the result, and that's what matters, of course. Uh, this week, um, overall-wise, not quite managed to get Ribeiro, Ribeiro up to 70 overall, but that should be next week, hopefully. And uh, we'll sort out all the emails, and we'll get on to the next game in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed recording it. It's been a, a good performance. I think uh, overall starting to get the team back on track despite the loss that we just saw there um, but you saw how fine the margins were in that game it was a really well fought match again and um, thank you all so much for watching if we could try and 100 likes I'd really appreciate it also if you're new to the channel or maybe you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead hit that subscribe button as well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic thank you all so much for watching don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well at Gameface HD and on Instagram at Gameface HD as well thank you so much for the support thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time goodbye